Thanks for joining me on episode 554 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Ryan Engelstad from Pop Psych 101. I encourage you to find health. And one way to be inspired to do that is by listening to this, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mater. That is not in alignment with your values, because let's face it, If family is important, there still may be a season in your life where you can't make it to every single event of your, you know, your daughter's dance recital or your son's football game or band practice or whatever it is. But do you communicate that? Do you talk to your family and explain what's going on? And is it just a temporary thing or is it permanent? Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about impacting the world through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about being true to yourself and others, why we tend to overlook our own inconsistencies but see others, and why showing integrity is so important. You've heard me talk about developing your talent, and one of the best ways to do that is through books. But if you're like most people today, it's hard to find the time to read. And that's why today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Go to inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to sign up and you can get a 30-day free trial. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from and you can pick one and listen your way to developing your talents via Audible. That's inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to get your free trial and listen to great books the same way you're listening to this podcast. One of the things that I look for when I'm getting to know somebody and whether they're in a leadership position, whether they're a friend, whether they're a client, is I look for a sense of integrity. And integrity is one of those interesting words. It's, it's, you know, we use it all the time. We talk about people having integrity. And oftentimes what we use it for is a kind of a synonym for honesty. But that's not exactly what that word means, or at least not the history of that word. If you think about the meaning of the word or the root of the word, integrity has to do with wholeness. We think about integer, and it's a similar root. We think about wholeness. You know, a, a number is an integer It's if, if it's a whole number. We think about integrity in terms of identity being ho- held together and self consistent in a, a sense of self. You, you know who you are and you are who you are, no matter who's watching. You know, integrity is about that sense of being the same person when you're on the stage and in front of people as when you're off the stage and behind scenes. And integrity is about having a sense of self that is self-identifying. Now, sometimes we use integrity to mean honest or moral or upright. And I don't think those definitions are wrong per se, but it's more than that. It's about being true to who you are in front of others and behind others. And it's also about being true to others. It's about walking out that self-identity in a way that others can see. It's about if you say that you care for others, then people can see that you care for them. If you say that family is important, then you can see that. Oftentimes I say that to measure someone's integrity, you want to ask them what they value, what's important to them, and then check their checkbook and their calendar and see if that's actually being walked out in their money and in their time. Because oftentimes people will say, you know, family is important. And then you look at their calendar and there's not a single family event blocked off on their calendar. Well, then is family really important to you? There's this idea in having integrity about being real to yourself. 
And the interesting thing is when we say it, when we say we value family, but then we actually look at our calendar and look at our, our time and our money and we don't actually spend it on family, we often will give ourselves a pass. We'll forgive our own inconsistencies. We'll look at ourselves and we'll talk about the fact that this is a busy season. It may even be true. This isn't about lying to yourself. It's it's about whether or not you've aligned your values and your priorities with the rest of your life. It's about, are you talking the talk or are you walking the walk? We have a tendency to overlook it when we do it because internally we know the reasons or the excuses. And sometimes it's a reason and sometimes it's an excuse and oftentimes it's hard to tell the difference. But then when we see someone else doing it, when someone isn't consistent in their own behavior towards us, of course, we see that as dishonest. We see that as not being a person of integrity. We get angry with them. We are unable to forgive them or give them a pass because their inconsistency, of course, has no reason behind it or no excuse behind it. It's an interesting dichotomy that happens where we forgive ourselves but hold others to somehow a higher standard because we don't know what's going on in their head and in their heart. All we can see is their behavior. But the interesting thing is, if you turn that around, you realize that the people around you, all they can see is your behavior. They can't see what's going on in your head and in your heart. And so to them, that inconsistency appears as if you do not have integrity. And that is a very bad thing. The truth is, integrity is one of those things that even though you may not be able to exactly define it, even though you may not be able to put it into words, you know it when you see it. You recognize in other people, do they have integrity? And when you feel like they do, then you want to do business with them. You want to spend time with them. You want to trust them. You appreciate them more. You look to them as someone that you can trust. And you look to them as somebody that is in some way trustworthy. It's about more than whether or not you do business with them. It's, it's about all of the other things that come along with that. You'll listen to them. You'll take advice from them. You'll value their opinion and what they say and do and how they speak into your life. This person becomes somebody who's important to you when they have integrity. But if they show a lack of integrity, you begin to distance yourself from them. You begin to not trust them. You begin to have a feeling that something's wrong. So even though you can't necessarily put your finger on it, you know that integrity is important. So here's the interesting thing. If you do have to be inconsistent, if you do have to do something that is not in alignment with your values, because let's face it, if family is important, there still may be a season in your life where you can't make it to every single event of your, you know, your daughter's dance recital or your son's football game or band practice or whatever it is. But do you communicate that? Do you talk to your family and explain what's going on? And is it just a temporary thing or is it permanent? Is it an always thing? If it's always that you're out of alignment between what you walk and what you talk, then you need to do something to bring those into alignment. Either stop saying that's what you value or change your situation so that you can indeed do it. Because let's face it, again, if you're in a bad situation, maybe from a money perspective, you may have no choice but to go to work when you'd rather go to your kid's game. But you can change that. You can take control of that. You can make that a different tomorrow than it is today. It just may take time and effort to get there, but it's possible. On the other hand, if you find yourself out of alignment permanently, then you need to change it. But if you find yourself out of alignment temporarily, then you need to communicate about it. You need to talk about it. You need to share the whys and the wherefores so that the people around you who you value and you love know why you were out of alignment. And hopefully they can accept that and you can move on together in integrity. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, 
you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 talent tips that's talent tips to 44222 and get those tips until next time invest your time your talent and your treasures develop your influence and impact the world